Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this course here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over basically how to use Excel in a very uh, crash course like way. So what you need to do is you need to open up Excel and we'll get started. So let's go and open up a blank workbook here. Now, one of the things I love about Excel is that it is incredibly versatile now uh, and depending on when you first started to use it, uh, Excel has really uh, advanced and there's a lot of things you can do with it. And you'll be learning about a lot of that in this course here. But what I really want to do is just go over some of the quick basics on how to use Excel and what I like to use Excel for. Okay, So one of the things that's great about Excel is the obviously is to take in and read data in a very clear way. Now, a couple things, um, just because uh, this is a 21 inch monitor and things might be a little bit small. Now, if you want to select all the cells, you can select this button here. And if you want to raise everything, you can see that, yeah, it does indeed raise the number of uh, the font here. And you can see that you have a font size, etc. This is, of course, all on our home tab. And our home tab pretty much has everything that you would expect from the word processor point of view. Now, one thing that you have to understand about any kind of complex software like Excel is that should you know what every single one of these buttons do before you start really using it? Well, the answer is no. You should just start using the software the way you need to use the software. And as you use the software more, you will find out what's useful. But if you want, you can actually drag this button down here and you can make it bigger. Now, I'm going to make it way bigger than I absolutely need it to be. And the reason for that is I want it to um, basically uh, be uh, easy to see so that anyone on their device can look at this. Some people look at, on, look at these tutorials on their mobile device. And if you're one of them, this is why I'm doing it, all right? And I think it just looks a little bit better, OK? So as you can see, I've been moved up here. But you don't necessarily need to do that if you don't want to. So let's take a look at a basic example here. Let's call this month, all right, and year, or a month here, um, and we'll just say revenue, OK? So let's say you have your month here, and let's say you have a revenue from side gig here. Now, of course, you can move this anywhere. So let's say you wanted to move it up here. You can go ahead and do that. Um, if you wanted to, so I'm just pushing Control X and Control V. One thing I like to do, by the way, uh, is I like to not put things, I like to give a margin, but that's just me, okay? And it's a margin of sales here. Now, the way that Excel works is that you have your cells, which you can put data into. In this case, we're just simply adding in the, um, uh, basically adding in the, uh, the title to our table here, okay? So if I type in January, OK, and then I type in February. Right. Do we really have to uh, go down through all the rest of the months? Well, I don't think we do. So let's select both of these. And if you move to this bottom square here, you can simply do this. And what this will do is it will fill everything in. Now, you'll also notice that the cells here do not necessarily uh, fit this here. It, do it doesn't necessarily fit it. Right. Well, we can go up to the top here and simply move it over. Now, let's say you wanted to give more of a margin here. Well, you can see that the cell still has the uh, the same size here. You can just do Control Z to um, uh, to undo that here. Okay. So let's just give some revenue numbers here, and I'm just going to do um, just some numbers here. All right, and then just for uh, simplicity's sakes, I'm just going to copy and paste that because the actual number doesn't really um, ma uh, matter that much. I just want to show you. Okay, so let's say this here is your side hustle 
you get some extra money, etc. Okay. First things first, this doesn't look as good as uh, as you perhaps like it to. So one of the things I like to do is I just like to click the bold button up top so you can see that there is a little bit of a difference there. Now, if you really wanted to, um, I used to do this all the time in Excel where I'd give a bottom border and you can see that there's a, a border there. It's up to you whether you want to do that or not. Uh, you can also, uh, if you click on this here, you can. there's a, a whole bunch of different kinds. Like You can add in like a box here. It's up to you whether you want to do this. Now, over the years, I have not been doing that as much. Personally, I think uh, that's maybe not the best use of time, but that's just me. I just like to put it in bold here. And if you really like it, you can up the font by one. Okay? Not too complicated. Okay? But there's another problem here. And that problem is that this is not formatted in uh, dollar signs. Well, okay. There's two things. Usually with dollars, uh, you uh, you get cents, and usually you have two decimal places, right? So you can actually go and click this button here, right? And you can see that we can add in more than one decimal place, just like that here, right? But let's say we want to add in a dollar sign to this, all right? And let's say we want to add in this entire column as dollar signs. All right? So if we click, as you can see here, by the way, you can just click this whole column here. right? And by clicking on this whole column, you can just simply add in the, the dollar sign there. And that actually looks pretty good. Okay? And, now it's, uh, and now it's basically formatted in dollars. Okay? Now, a couple things. Uh, let's take a look at this here. So let's select, actually, you know what? Let's just select this whole column here, okay? And you'll see at the bottom here, we have the average is 333, the count is 13, and then the sum is, well, almost 4,000, okay? So let's say you want to add this up. We can say this uh, total, uh, so we can just call this, for example, totals up here, and we can say... Um, total revenue okay we can call this average and let's say you want to um, calculate those okay well there's one way you could just literally just do this and copy this over but there's a better way to do it here and by the way I'm going to subtract this a couple times here so that it just looks a little bit better and unbold these okay we really want you can maybe put italicize there just to make it look a little different okay so the total revenue and let's say we wanted to just add up this entire um, entire year here so if we take a look and we want to add this in here all we have to do is push equals and we can type in sum and you know what we can actually just drag this here all right, and look at that. We get the same number as if we dragged it over here. Sum, and then 39960, okay? And if we change this, right, you can see that the number changes as well. Right? Pretty simple stuff. So it does it automatically for you, okay? Now, if we type in equal average, okay, and we do the average of all these, and there you go. It gives you the average to two decimal places. And let's say you don't want that. Well, you can just do this. All right. Now let's take a look at what this is. Sum C3 to C14. So what I need you to do, uh, or what you need to look at here, is it is this column of C. It starts at 3 and goes to 14. If I type in C13, you can see that it no longer, no longer does that. All right. So... That is essentially what it is. Now, let's say you wanted to do sum, and we did this. We wanted to add all the months together. Well, it basically gives you a zero because that makes no sense. Okay. So as you can see, we have the total revenue here. Now, there's another way to do this, by the way. So let's just delete this and type in sum, and let's just type in the entire item here. And you can see here that if we do sum, CC, 
it will do the same thing. And the best part is, is that it actually ignores this, this here, right? So let's say you wanted to do, you know, let's say this was 2019, right? And then we would copy and paste this down here and we did 2020, right? And then just for simplicity sake, uh, actually, by the way, if you want to copy things, right, um, you can just simply push Control-C, Control-V, okay? So as you can see, the total revenue goes up, but the average still stays the same because we only told it to select those specific cells. So by the way, if you do equals and then um, average again, and average bracket, and we did C to C as well, and you can see it will still give the average because, well, we basically copied everything. So let's make this a little bit more complex. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to move this over here. And I always just like to copy and paste it, but there's a better way of doing it. Okay. So one of the things you can do is you can add in cells and these cells uh, will move everything over. Okay. So in order to do that, uh, it's actually quite simple. And what you do is you right click on the column and you go to insert and you say you want to shift cells to the right an entire column. So I'm just going to add insert an entire column here. So as you can see, we now have an entire column. Now I'm going to type in expenses just like this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add in a, let's say negative 33. Okay. Here we go. And you know what? Negative 22, negative 44. And I'm just going to simply copy this over here. Okay. So let's just copy it over because it really doesn't matter here. So this is, these are our expenses here. And you can see maybe the, well, these tended to add it uh, as well. So it doesn't matter. Nevertheless, let's just keep these the way they are. Let's shift it over yet again. Let's insert an entire column here and we'll say profit. Okay. And in this case, if we make this and then we subtract this, well, no, this doesn't quite work the way we want it to. Wait, if you look at this, this number is lower than this number. It's, well, obviously you're subtracting a negative number. Okay. And that's not what we want to do. So it's fairly simple. All I'm going to do is add in the plus sign here. And you can see that we now have the difference because you're adding in the negative number. Okay. So if we just kind of drag this over here, watch what happens. It will magically fill in everything for you, right? You'll see that it is C4 and D4, C5 and D5, etc. And you'll see that basically everything uh, will add in the profit here. Okay. So um, let's move that down and we'll say total, and I'm just going to copy and paste this here. We'll call this total profit. Okay. And we're going to literally do the same thing here. We're just going to add in the sum and the total revenue. We're just going to say this is E to E. Okay. The total profit here. Yeah, you can see here, let's, uh, let's delete this average because we don't really, as, as you know, we'll keep it there. And we'll say total, just copying and pasting to get the, the size down here or the, the exact type. And I'm going to say total expenses. I'm going to make that equal to sum D to D. There you go. And you can see that everything is working here total average and then if you really want to revenue like this and average profit and one of the things that you should probably do is you should be consistent right so let's move that down italicize that yeah, it's still not quite right because it is indeed 10 okay so the average profit here will make it sum here 
some here we go so um, oh yeah well not not the let's do the average there we go then the average revenue so as you can see here we have a nice looking little um, just make this bold as well and if we really want to actually we can type in year here but um, yeah we might as well okay so we got year etc okay so as you can see we now have a very basic good looking and minimalist type spreadsheet here okay so things look pretty good let's take a look at one more thing before uh, I think let's take a look at a couple more things before we go I want all of these to be in centered here well one thing that you can do is you can align them left you can align them center or you can align them right okay so let's align these center okay in fact this one here looks a little bit better left so we'll just make that left here. You can also align these, you know, at the top, the middle, or the bottom. So let's just leave that at the bottom here, okay? So that looks pretty good. The last thing uh, that you might want to do is you might want to color code some of these numbers here. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at the expenses here, and let's click on this here. And it's already defaulted to red, but you can actually... Um, you can actually take a look at the standard colors here. These are all pretty good. I like them a lot. Um, I tend to like to use this darker red personally. And you can also add that as dark red. All right. And let's say you want the profit to be green. Well, you just simply select it and make it green. In fact, I like this olive green a little bit better. Now, let's say you want to select all of these here but not the middle one just push control it's pretty easy all right there we go and there we go that um, that is basically a small crash course into how Excel works thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video